Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Long time, no see. It's been about two or three months since I filmed a video. I cannot believe it. Um, to be honest, when I posted my last video, I didn't actually expect or plan to leave for so long. Um, but uni, not got in the way, but you know, uni work piled up in a sense. And I had exams, assignments. I only had one exam, which was good, but I had assignments to complete and write. Um, and then obviously Christmas came around. Happy New Year as well, guys. Happy New Year. Um, I wish you all well. And I hope that 2023 obviously brings you joy, happiness and peace. Because that's what life should always be about. Um, but yeah, I've missed filming videos so much, honestly. And when people like come on and say that on, on YouTube channels, I'm just a bit like, oh yeah, shut up, man. <laughs> but honestly, as a, well, as a YouTuber, I can't even class myself that and um, call myself a YouTuber anymore. But as a YouTuber, I actually understand why people say that. Because it's so fun and it's just so... For me, it's just a relief in a sense. Opposed to doing law work and being an estate agent and all that sort of like serious stuff so I do actually enjoy filming content I just don't make enough effort and time and put enough effort into myself at times to create videos but I am filming this one anyway for you guys today and to be completely honest after this video I don't know when I'm going to film another video just because I'm starting back at you next week and in a sense it doesn't really make sense for me to even put this video out there but just because as I said I've just missed filming so much and I've you know I'm, I've got I'm, I'm free today so yeah it just seems appropriate I got my hair done yesterday I didn't actually plan to get my hair done but I absolutely love it I think this is the best install ever um, and the hair is so thick and soft and yeah I love it it's obviously sponsored or whatever because we're definitely not there yet <laughs> but it's Peruvian hair and I just absolutely love it it's 20 inches but it looks so much longer and I've got a little bit of leave out as well um so yeah I absolutely love it but the price was a different story I like I said wasn't meant to get my hair done yesterday but obviously because we're friends here I got my hair done yesterday and for some people this price might be cheap but for me it is the most money that I've ever spent on getting my hair done so it cost me £200 to buy the hair and get the hair installed £200 just for this some people's hair naturally looks like this and it's a bit upsetting but yeah £200 was spent yesterday on my hair and I do want to actually show you guys at some point um, in the near future my natural hair my natural hair honestly comes to here and I should have taken a picture before getting my hair done so I even said to the lady like I said I was hesitant to even get the insult I know I'm going off trail a little bit but we're catching up at this point um yeah I was my hair's literally my natural hair's like down here and I said to her mm, should I just straighten my natural hair but then I thought well no because one this hair is longer than my natural hair and two because the weather again it's just so like cloudy and wet outside and I'm just like no I just want to still protect my natural hair and maybe wait till the next coming months in the summer and whatnot anyway so I what I'm gonna do actually if this video is not long enough after I film this portion of the video we're gonna go and get some food and do a mukbang and sit down and actually catch up because I feel like I've got so much to share and tell you guys um so yeah depending on how long this video is I'm either just gonna put the compile them into two or um, sorry compile them into one video or make two separate videos so this video as you guys can see from the title is going to be about um, me showing you guys some new pieces that I've got and curated over you just the um the winter time the holidays and that sort of thing some of them are Christmas presents and um, but now that I've actually got all the clothes out and everything that I'm wanting to show you guys I'm like there's not actually that many things to show you guys so I'm going to show you guys what I got um and I'm still figure out the setup like my last styling video was downstairs but my mum's working she works from home and um, four days a week so my mum's uh, working downstairs so I'm gonna have to film upstairs in my bedroom or in the landing and like I said the light is just not great today because the weather's bad but I'm gonna work with what I can and just the space that I have so let's begin <laughs> let's begin um I've not filmed a video in so long I don't even know how to act anymore so the very first thing is actually what I'm wearing um, it's my time of the month as well for the girls um, because I just feel like you guys need to know that it's my time of the month and I'm a bit ill, I don't know if you guys can hear that I'm a bit ill but anyway, so this is the first thing which is this top this top is, I don't have a bra on as well so my bad but this top is from Shein this top is literally 
Eskim's dupe and I actually went to the Trafford Centre on Boxing Day. I went to the Trafford Centre on Boxing Day and I saw Skims. I felt it. It is really soft, don't get me wrong, but I, the hype is not there for the price and the quality. It's not, it's not adding up. This is from Shein. This is so soft. I cannot even begin to tell you. Honestly, it feels more or less the exact same. And if you look at the comments as well on Shein, people say Shein, but I think it's Shein because... It just makes more sense. Um, people have said that it looks like the Skims do. It feels like the Skims, like it just feels like Skims looks like Skims. It's amazing. They have so many different colours as well. And the reason why I got this um, colour is to match these leggings. Now let me try and readjust the camera a little bit just so you, so you guys can see properly. But to match these leggings, let me just bring the camera down and blow my nose. <laughs> but yeah, this is what the pants look like. I really, really love them. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like in my mirror and then I'm going to show you guys how I would actually style it and wear it out just because I'd wear it like this in the summertime but in the winter time I'm definitely not going outside looking like this and yeah this is what they look like I said yeah see through definitely see through but again I wouldn't you know wear them wear it with these pants but yeah this is what they look like with it being winter like I was saying I would put this jacket over the top oh my mum's turned the heating back up no man it's hot it's actually hot okay guys like i said with it being winter time i wouldn't wear this outfit just as it is so i went to h&m and i picked up this i purposely picked up what i picked up for this outfit i wanted to create this outfit just because i knew the colors would go great together and this is such a nice like running errands but look fashionable you know and put together look um, it's from H&M, it's a size medium and it's from the men's section and I absolutely love this. Like this is comfortable, it's literally what I would wear around the house, going to run errands. I'm probably going to wear this outfit when we go out anyway and I would either wear it with white socks and my Yeezy slides or new shoes that I got this Christmas time and there's a story behind these shoes. So got some trainers and everybody has these trainers so i re-upped on nike air force ones <laughs> because i had these shoes right i've not worn them out so they're not dirty they actually look so fresh on camera as well but anyway i got these shoes because i used to have nike air force ones years ago years ago but for those that know know that i have a small bladder so one time i was wearing these shoes and I weed myself and because they were white and don't get me wrong my this is probably TMI T T T M I but um I wore these shoes I weed myself and my shoes kind of got a bit yellow so so that's why I had to get some new shoes some new Nike Air Force ones I absolutely love these shoes we're just gonna skip over that story now I've said it TMI but yeah that's why I got some new uh, Nike Air Force ones and I actually absolutely love these shoes um so yeah this is how again I could style this outfit I'm not gonna put white socks on but I will show you I will put these on and show you guys a mirror um video of what these this outfit would look like um I've not tied them up just because I can't be bothered it kind of looks a bit weird like I said I don't have socks on but this is how I would style it right so yeah on to the next because like I said my mum's turned the heating up and it's hot and I sweat easily for those that know <laughs> so I'll put on this next outfit I'll be right back okay guys this is the next outfit and obviously I mean my hair is quite versatile so to speak so it kind of does go with this this outfit but again you could do like a you know updo sort of thing but this is the next outfit and there's a little backstory behind this outfit as well. Um, I actually got this uh, tracksuit, it's a tracksuit, I know you guys can't tell, but I got this tracksuit um, when I was in a music video for this guy, this artist, and he was also advertising his brand. So I was obviously the model that was advertising it and in the music video. Um, it's not out yet, but this is his brand, his tracksuit. It says entrepreneur on it and the only thing is is well the only two a few things is <laughs> it's really really nice it's velar it's white velar but the pants are see-through and he didn't realize nor i didn't realize that i've got a large so the pants come down really really far i'll show you guys properly but the main issue is the fact that it's see-through and i've actually still got my leggings on underneath 
and because obviously it's my time of the month so i'm not even wearing the right pants anywhere but it's really really nice like i said but i need to get the pants tailored um because you know it doesn't fit me properly it zips up all the way it's functioning pockets at the front and this actually is the um outfit i would pair my nike Air force ones with um i just wish the little collar would stay up like you know like this but I probably can just iron that out and get that sorted. It says entrepreneur there as well. Hope you guys can see that. And it says, I think if I'm correct, it says entrepreneur or something at the back. Hope you guys can see. But yeah, it says, and I do apologise if this video is all over the place. I feel like all my videos are somewhat all over the place. But this is real life. Oh, and that's another thing. Because the pants are really long, they're actually dirty. I mean, I need to limp roll the outfit, but the bottoms of these pants are dirty because I won this outfit twice for the mini for, uh, for the music video and for when I went to Manchester for another thing. Yeah, so like I said, I need to get the pants tailored. I know they don't look that long now, but they they honestly they are. Look, I've got them dirty at the bottom, which is so unfortunate. But um, yeah, so I need to get like all this cinched in and just sorted out. But like I said, these is definitely how I would style the Nike Air Force ones. Um, because it just looks so much better um, along the lines of this way anyway I wouldn't just solely wear the uh, shoes with this outfit the trends with this outfit but yeah I think it's so cute and comfortable and yeah I just really really like it so guys I've got the next outfit on I actually wore this outfit for New Year's Eve um, and I really really love this outfit the only thing is I didn't have my hair like this I had like two pigtails um, and yeah to be honest I think I don't know I said uh uh yeah I think if I was to, when I wear this outfit again, I probably would just do like a long ponytail or something like that. Just something a bit more like, I don't know. It went, but it didn't, it didn't go. Um, but anyway, so this is actually a men's cardigan from H&M. It's in a size medium. I did go and try on a large, but the large just looked way too large. So I got it in a medium and I really, really love it. It's so comfortable. And on the night, I wore it with these heels, which are from Shein. And I wore these when I went to my Pride Awards do. Um, so I'm gonna put these on and I love these heels. They're just amazing to wear all night, basically. And then bag wise, okay, I'm gonna take the heels off for now because I'm looking a bit swollen. Um, bag wise, I got this bag for Christmas. It was on my Christmas list. To be honest, I only had five things on my list. Um, but this was one of them and again this is quite a everybody has this bag but i can't i just love it absolutely love it and seeing it in person and having it myself i'm like yeah i see why everybody has it and everybody loves it so it's this bag i got it from catch me the balenciaga bag and um, we're not gonna go into that too much but anyway it's the balenciaga bag and i absolutely love it i think it really goes well with the outfit kind of just just it just goes like it just goes honestly i'm going to show you guys again another um video mirror video look and i got a few compliments as well with when i wore this outfit which was nice it was nice <laughs> um so yeah and as you saw i put my little chanel brooch as well but with this hair it's a bit difficult to give it the um attention that it deserves but yeah this is how i wore it the top looks a bit short but it's honestly not um and if you want to like i did on the night i just put heel i mean shorts underneath but yeah minus the mess in the background and my coats on the floor they were in my camera view but anyway this is the outfit i think it's so cute and it's just a really fashionable outfit honestly i just think it just it just looks good i don't know how to really explain it. it just looks different as well you know not everybody wears this not everybody would style this how i've styled it and yeah i just really really love the outfit i just think it's it's just cute and with the bag as well because obviously you can wear this bag like a rock star sort of casual cargo pants and whatever but with this look i just think it it just goes i can't really say much more on it but yeah and said i should have cleaned my mirror right on to the next i'm really 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 excited to show you guys the next outfit because i've not tried it on together but i had the vision in my head so let's hope it comes together um but yeah let me get it on and i'll be right back okay guys so this is the next outfit <sighs> this outfit probably probably my favorite outfit ever it's just if i was an outfit this would definitely be I mean, I couldn't round myself up to be one outfit, but this 
would be me if I had to choose out of everything that I've got so far. I was actually putting the shirt on and then the top just kind of fell like this. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you obviously how it is now and then show you guys it all tucked in. So this is the outfit. Um, I'm gonna show you properly, but I just realized that this pattern and the skirt actually don't match. The top is a bit more peach and obviously the skirt is, you know, the Burberry pattern, but it is stunning, like absolutely stunning. Again, I wouldn't really have my hair like this. I mean, it's really, really cute. You so could um, just as a, you know, out the way look, but let me show you guys this outfit properly because it's, oh, it's stunning. It is really stunning. It is so girly and like I said, if I was an outfit, this is definitely one, one outfit that I would be. How cute is this? The boots, like, wow. And it has shorts on underneath, which is perfect. So like I said, the top wasn't meant to be like this. I might tuck it in, but how cute, how cute. Honestly, this is so, so girly, wow. I love it. I absolutely love it. And these boots are from Ego. A look, a look, a look. You could obviously wear it with like flat, uh, just normal heels. It's time to boss up. Fix your credit, girl. Get it. The only thing about the shoes, the boots, are uh, they're really noisy. And I actually wore the boots when I went to um, Old Trafford for Boxing Day. I went shopping. And I saw a lady, she was like, oh my God, I've got them boots as well. How comfortable. And I just basically put them on and I started walking around in them. I thought, these shoes are not comfortable. They're not like shopping shoes. They're just like a meal or like a date night evening. Just like a couple of hours maybe, but not an all day shoe. That's for sure. Because after that day, I was like, oh my God, let me take these shoes off. But like I said, the only downfall is they are noisy. Um, but again, you could just take the padlock, the, uh, yeah, the padlock off if you want to. So what I'm going to do is show you guys another way that you could style the boot. Oh, let me show you. Let's see if it looks... Yeah, so it looks nice tucked in actually. Looks more like how it should look, if that makes sense. But how I had it before also looked really cute. And I like the fact that I can kind of wear this skirt somewhat as high as I want to because it's got shorts on underneath. Um, but yeah, this is also a really cute way of styling the, the skirt. So like I said, let me show you guys a dress down version and the way that you could style these boots because I think I'm getting sweat patches, so let me change. <laughs> okay guys, so this is quite basic and casual as it is, but it's the exact same um, hoodie, zip up hoodie, but in black from H&M again. So I actually wore this outfit yesterday, but I didn't wear the shoes nor the bag yesterday, but I wore like this outfit yesterday. And I just put this hat over the top, um, this beanie. And I was only going out with my dad really quick to drop something off a sneaker. But I was wearing it like this and then I had the hood over the top. But yeah, this is cute as well. Like this is just like casual, simple, you know, whatever, whatever. But yeah, this is another cute, comfortable outfit. Like I prefer comfort. I prefer looking good and being comfortable over like looking good but feeling uncomfortable. Um, so yeah. I Let me show you how then you can obviously up style it upscale it i would put the boots back on um i mean i could do with or without the hat but i would do the boots for sure i've not tried this outfit on with the boots but this is how you could style the boots down but dress an outfit up let me see yeah this is cute cute even like this like this is cute yeah this is cute my head looks a bit Bit weird but yeah this is what i would do and then this i need to show you guys this bag so this was another ask for christmas you know me i'm gonna be a fake it till you make it girl so and i've got no problem with that especially when it looks real so oh my god I, this bag is literally like my not dream bag but dream bag and here she is <laughs> chanelly she had a little chanelly this is cute. The quality on this is everything. And then I open it up. And then we've got a little 
fakes it. well it obviously opens but you can't put anything it doesn't fit anything inside you open it again and it's ready inside <laughs> and then it says chanel there like i said it's not real but we love her we love her it's got so many compartments and it's got um obviously inner pockets as well there's uh, space to put lip gloss cards just all sorts basically um and it the quality honestly i just want to Oh, I just love it. I absolutely love it. Yeah, I've not worn Chanel out yet, but when I do, I'm gonna. Running errands in style sort of look. Yeah. Cute, 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 cute. And then, you know, you could put the hood up. But yeah, this is cute. You could obviously do it without the beanie. But let me see it with the hood up. Could do hood up. This is like, I'm off to, yeah, this is, this is just cute. This is just cute. Like I said, then you could do it without the beanie. Let me hope my hair's not messed up. Oh, um, but yeah, you could do it without the beanie as well. Um, but I think it adds to it. I need to sort my hair out a bit more now, but yeah, you could do without, without. And yeah, it's just a cute, cute look. I'm so so I'm like it's actually unreal. Where's my tissue? <laughs> but yeah, look at these shoes. They're just so nice. Honestly, I see why there was they were hyped up. I feel like this video might be long enough to post by itself. So what I will do is just start another video, um, another little mini vlog, and yeah, go get some food and then sit down and have the life update. So let me show you guys the heels and then wrap this video up. These are the shoes. Oh, these shoes. So mean. I've been wanting Penton black cart heels for some time now. And these are just different than the standard typical cart heels, if you ask me. First of all, that is... Oh, this is a full-on shoe. Imagine if it was like a lube, like an actual lube to on. I absolutely love this shoe. I got it from H&M in size 6. I'm a size 6. True size 6. And what I love and I think it's different is the fact that, one, the heel is comfortable, perfect, and not too long, not too short. And then, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the point actually extends about a little bit further than a typical heel. And they just look... Oh, they just look like she means business. And she does. She wants business. She means business. She has business to attend. And as I said, they're so comfortable as well. And I think they were £25, I want to say. I'm just wearing the same outfit that I had on before, so obviously... I wouldn't wear it like this. So yeah, these are what the heels look like. Stunning. As I said, they look so strange with this outfit, but I just wasn't going to put another outfit on. But honestly, these shoes are like, she's a big woman. She's a big woman now. Um, I absolutely love these shoes. They're like stunning. Now that they're on my feet, you can see how long the front are in comparison to like a normal cart heel. But I prefer these just because, as I said, they just look more witchy and just dramatic which I, I much prefer um so yeah these are the shoes guys i just realized oh, the light has gone a bit yellow but i've just realized i forgot to show you guys this hat look this hat this hat was meant to go with the Burberry outfit i'm so annoyed to be honest this isn't even my hat and i would have to get another one because it's a bit small um it fits but it's it at a push like at a push it's so cute though like when i saw this hat in my mum's room i was like whose hat is that this is cute um and like i said it's red on the inside so i need to definitely get something similar Um, i love it i just don't like the fact that it's got this round the outside and i can't even take it off but this was meant to be for the Burberry outfit like i said if i was to wear it out style it out really go all out that's how i would style it and i bet it would even look nice with these heels as well oh honestly i hope this year is just full of fashion opportunities and just me being able to really style up outfits and pieces that i have because i just love fashion so much and i always wear like casual stuff but in my heart fashion is there look at my nails as well guys they're from primark they were only three pounds they're a bit summery a bit pastel-y but they really went with um they really went well when i wore it for new year's so yeah i know what i'm doing <laughs> let me just change and now wrap up this video so guys that last outfit wraps up this video did i really go and put a little earring in just because i've now swooped my hair behind my ear yes 
So, I am wrapping this video up now. I can't believe I... I'm not back on YouTube, but I'm back to filming as and when I can. And as and when I have something to film. I'm going to obviously talk about it more in my um, life update. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too all over the place. And when I watch it back, I hope it's postable. It looks okay. Um, I did try and, you know, emulate a little bit how I filmed my other styling video, but it didn't look as... I feel like it might not look as good or as um, sleek, should I say. Just because... I'm working with a smaller space being upstairs. Oh, I'm so hungry. Um, but yeah, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoy this video so, so much. I want to apologise, obviously, for not being on YouTube. But again, life has just been life in. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to stop rambling on now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I keep saying, please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. And tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. Because... I mean, there's no, I can't even persuade you guys as to why to, to subscribe, to be honest, because I'm not a consistent queen. I don't think I ever will be. But, um, yeah, if you want to continue seeing my face as and when you do see it, please don't forget to subscribe and tell a friend to tell a friend. So, yeah, bye, guys.